Hello and welcome to episode of Tiger Woods Return 2004. The no upgrade challenge, as you can see. Still no upgrades, no equipment boosts either. All 10%. I haven't shown this apart from the first episode. Just to prove that it's still at 10%. There you go. So no equipment changes. So that'll give us modifiers that will upgrade the uh, attributes. And obviously no attributes upgrades as well. All 10%. I, I, I don't need to say I didn't do anything. Right. Off to the world tour, let's go. Next episode is going to be our... The Royal Birdale. We'll do this, the Southern Hemisphere one later, because that's harder. <laughs> Alright. Let's get on with it. Don't need to, because there's no need for the money. Let's go. Justin Rose finally delivered the huge potential which first became apparent in the 1998 British Open Championship by capturing two championships in 2002, one in Johannesburg, the city of his birth. Justin first broke 70 for the first time at age 11 and had a handicap of plus three at age 14. And then he took the world by storm in 1998, chipping in at the last tie for fourth in the Open Championship at Royal Birkdale. A superb golfer, Justin Rose, is your next opponent in the world tour. Make sure you keep it straight down the fairway to have a chance at victory. All right, here we go. It's average Joe. Oh, the wind's bad. The wind is bad. Okay. Here we go. We're going to rake in the mud here. We're not spending any of it. That's going to bounce uh, off the hill and stay in the fairway. Nice. Twitter's hitting on the eyes. We'll take it. The truth is, I don't know if this is actually like possible to win the entire thing because... There's going to be some holes in the future where I can't win. And they are almost certainly going to win. Because it's going to be a long par fives. I can't get there. They can. They get the eagle. But we'll find out. I'm not afraid to say this one cannot be done. If I do get stuck. But uh, that's a long ways away I think. I think we'll get to the black tees at least. We'll get to the, the, no, the round threes. But we'll find out. It's the purpose of the series. And these challenge videos will challenge series going forward. Some might... End up in failure, I guess, but uh, let's be optimistic here. This one is headed towards the left side of the Okay, green. the wind's not done too much with that, and I can't really spin that either. Yeah, no, oh, let's go down the slope a bit. Oh, where's the wind? This they held a bit more to the right, it's fine, but it's gone down the slope, and the wind's done nothing. It's gonna put that fair play. Okay, that's a terrible put. I mean, I've done that in real life, but you're a professional golfer. Oh, okay, this isn't too bad. I mean, a two put might do it. I mean, I am trying to get the two put here, to be honest with you. That wasn't too bad. Overhit it, so the break didn't really take effect there. Yeah, I thought, you know. He's pretty far out on the white tees here. He's not going to make that. <laughs> Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do make it, but they usually don't at this level. Obviously, the harder ones we have to drain that first putt. We need a better, better approach play, but the wind needs to do what it's supposed to do. See, the this is PGA 2K23. That wind would have done loads, but uh, in Tiger Woods, it's nowhere near as effective, the wind. Usual. Try to swing it as hard as I can here against the wind here. 260 yards. Not bad. My concern is the fantasy uh, courses off the of black tees. Do I have the power to even do anything with it? Because they are designed for max starts or you know, very high starts. And I'm playing on the lowest possible. But we'll soon find out. But now... Gotta keep winning here. He's played it short against the wind, though. It's not a surprise. I'm actually gonna play it in eight iron here to play play this one super safe. This should find the green. I've been a bit cautious here. And it's paid off. That's a, that's a fine approach, actually. Actually, we'll take that. Thirteen feet. That's not bad at all. That's an alright putt, actually. That's a good putt from there. I'll take that. So now I'm going to make sure this it will not be enough to tie the hole here. Would it? Uh oh, that's left. It's fine. It's not that left at all. Cool, Gal McLeod, average joke. 
This place. I'm right this up. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Uh, not the highest hit, but the wind will help carry that. There we go. Almost 200 yards. What a shocker, the wind doing a lot there. Is it left? It's going to hold the fairway. Only just. What we're learning here is on the white tees, the start of the game, the, you know, the easy section, they hit it less than 10% power. That's mad. You can't drive the AR with rubbish stats. This is headed for the green. That's played short. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no, the wind's gonna. F oh, for con. I'll try this. Got this going right at it. That wants to go in the hole. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. Ten percent start. That ain't stopping me. That's a brilliant approach. We've got the tie at least. Really good. It will be the tie. It's drained the putt. Like I said, they don't always miss. This putt to have the hole. There we go, tap it in. That's a uh, good approach, didn't deserve get the uh, a hole when it deserved. We'll keep our lead. Keep it moving. The fourth tee sits high above the third green. Alright, here we go, how's the wind? It's to the left. Let's go. We're on the green, and a putt will be upcoming. Uh, at least one. Bite, 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 bite. A little long, but we'll work with it. That really roll. I mean, with a little power, I don't expect too much roll. <laughs> but it, it went. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's a good shot. We need to make this putt to keep our lead. It's putting the pressure on. It usually does. It should be an easy enough putt. This is how it's done. It's celebrating. That's just about in the hole. Only just. But it's in. This one, to have the hole. To have the hole. We protect our lead. We actually increase our lead because he's blown the putt. I'm going to head in shame, lad. I'm going to head in shame. Tut tut. Let's keep it going. The fifth hole at Royal Brookdale is a short hole that dog legs to the yeah. right. Oh, nice to the oh. It is shot. Oh my god, we can, we can actually almost get there. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I've absolutely creamed it as best I can. And it's gonna just miss the green, but we can put that. Eagle chance here for average Joe. Oh no, it's on the green. It's on the green. We've got the power four green in one trophy ball. Too bad. We can't use the money because I can't have any attribute upgrades. No equipment, no attribute boosts, nothing. We have to use the generic equipment. Not a spectacular. Because it's the only one that um, doesn't give you a boost. The other level ones do give you a boost. Otherwise, I would switch. Uh, but we've got a chance here to win the hole with an eagle. I mean, a birdie might do it as well, to be honest with you. And again, they can chip. Oh, it's pitching it. Okay. Oh, not bad. This for an eagle. An two. eagle too. That is not the worst eagle chance in the world, actually. About there. It's in the hole. No, the lowest that's possible. Dead on the money. Brilliant eagle for average Joe. It's off the white tees, so if we, get, if we do that off the black tees, ah, that'd be amazing. Well, that's not going to be possible. This hole has but, uh, we never know. The With the right wind, I guess. Okay, we're going to aim for the bunker and hope we clear it with this wind. Let's go. It's going to hit the rough, which will actually kill, kill, kill the power and keep it in the fairway. Could we actually finish this matchup with back-to-back -back eagles? Because this is a par five, isn't it? Uh, 
There you go. Middle of the fairway. He's got quite the shot there to get there. He's gone for it. Here's the eight degree driver. He's going with the driver off the deck, hits the rough and plays short. Shouldn't be too hard of a shot, David. Can Not we get there? It's gonna be a tough one. Like you. Just 190 to the hole. I suspect this map plays shot the wind, yeah, the wind's gonna gonna hurt the power a bit. It's actually gonna bounce into the rough. Ah man. Okay, so we're in the rough again. Okay. That's a, good, that's a good play out the rough, we'll take that. The thing as well with low stats is because we've got 10% luck. If we're in the rough, we are going to get a crap lie. Justin Rose for birdie. So we have to be accurate. Oh, he's missed it! I mean, it's not us anyway, because obviously the tie of the hole is a dummy situation, we win not the match, but... You could have made it 4 and 3, but this will make it 5 and 3, because we're not missing this birdie, but... This will win the match. What a pointless game break, I'm not missing this. You may be in front right now. Seriously. You need every skill you have to win in the later rounds. There we go. Every skill we have, we have very little skill. In terms of attributes anyway. But average Joe wins again. He cannot be stopped. Five and three. We didn't make too many mistakes there. I mean the middle on this hole. I mean the start was a little rough, I guess, but the only reason why I made a mistake on this hole is because I couldn't get there because of my attributes. We did get an eagle. I'm a cat moment at that. Next time we're off to the one I've been trying to avoid. The Southern Hemisphere. We save our EA spots bio. Have we got a new achievement anyway? There's a quite a bio for you know it's one it's one bio for the memory card in total. So I've done this already. With Mr. Dapper. Because it's the same memory card. I don't know. They kind of dropped. I think they only did it for 04. They dropped it after 05, didn't they? Because I have FIFA 04 as well, so you could get progress in both and it'll level up. But for now, Big Mo is next at Blackrock Cove. This should be fun. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.